as the night before Christmas at 815 South Webster. Not a creature was stirring, not even MC Hamster. MC, you're supposed to be sleeping. The stockings were hung on the staircase for family to see. Right next to the train set and manger and tree. Sleeping and snoring were Chris and Dan, and though it was cold out, they had on the fan. Chris in her PJs and Dan in his shorts had fallen asleep to the weather reports. When out on the street there arose such a noise, it sounded like students, young third grade girls and boys. Away to the window, we jumped out of bed. We pulled at the curtains, but we broke them instead. The moon and the streetlight had lit up the snow, so bright you could see the piles of Quick Joe. Then up in the sky, almost as if from Mars, flew a small fuzzy red thing pulled by eight matchbox cars. It was right on schedule like a grandfather clock. We, we knew, knew in a, a moment, moment it must be Santa sock. sock. More rapid than mopeds, his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Pontiac, now Plymouth, now Chrysler, now Jeep. On Ford, on Buick, on Chevy. Beep, beep. And then in the twinkling, I heard in the mire the bouncing and squealing of each tiny tire. As I drew in my head and was turning my snoot, Santa Sock came flying up the laundry chute. He was all furry and fuzzy and flat and flying so fast hit the wall and went splat. He was just getting up off the floor when he said, <coughs> Hey, look, it's my uncle, the stocking named Fred. For you see, Santa Sock wasn't Santa at all, but an old Christmas stocking who wanted it all. But flying around was too much for his head, so he came right back home to be filled up instead. Mm -hmm.